everybody it's your boy kojo if you read the title of my video then you already know what we about to talk about and this is just mind-blowing like comment and subscribe and share everywhere let's get into the video so today i was talking to my homegirl and when i tell you this is just mind-blowing she told us that she eats her niggas ass and this is a dude that is super, 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 super straight. Like, so straight, he can't even turn right or left. Like, this nigga is straight, straight. And he get mad if you even mention or hint anything about uh, gayness around him or him being gay or even slightly, he get mad. This nigga is, like, super straight. This is why it's so shocking to me. And she said one day, you know, they got drunk or whatever, and... You know, she was like, let's try something new. And, you know, of course, everybody watch porn. And so she was like, let's try something new. And he was like, what? And she grabbed his ass and whatever. And then she was said, she was like, let me, let me lick your ass. And he was like, what the fuck? And then she said, let me, let me lick it. And he let her. Then she went from licking it to playing in it. Like, finger him and shit like that. He liked it and shit. Then she started eating him. And then he turned around and started eating her, licking her ass, playing with her ass and stuff. And she said she didn't think that he would let her, but he actually did. And they went on all through the night, you know, basically doing weird shit, you know, seeing what each other like and shit. Basically, I guess they all try sexual because... You try one thing, see if you like it. If you like it, then you continue it. So now when they have sex, whatever, she eats his ass, he eats hers, and eats her pussy. She sucks dick and lick balls and everything else that. But it's shocking because this nigga is so straight. Like, so straight. Like, you, he can't even turn right. He can't even turn left. This nigga only knows to go straight. And he came in a store one day. And me and the other homegirls and stuff, we all like, you know, he don't know that we know. Because she was like, promise you won't say nothing. She said, oh, um, he made me promise that I wouldn't tell nobody. Like, all that shit. And I'm like, I don't see nothing wrong with it. You know what I'm saying? If you got a girl, a boyfriend, or whatever, or fiance, wife, husband, whatever, you should be able to experience whatever you want to with them. And at the end of the day, you know, I'm going a, I'm to a experience shit because at the end of the day, I'm, it's either going to be me or it's going to be Becky. And I'd rather it be me experiencing it with you shit because Becky do a shit. It might blow your mind and you say, boom, leaving me for Becky. So his other baby mama, he never experienced shit like that with her. So now the girl that he's with, my friend, whatever, she, he's like wrapped around her finger. Like he's just like, oh my goodness. Like she said they fucking every single day and stuff. And she's trying to incorporate like toys. She's trying to incorporate candy, syrup, just, you know, like different items and stuff. And I was like, shit, get some chocolate, pour it around his nipples and shit, suck the nipples and shit and everything else like that. And shit, she doing the balls. She doing the on stuff. And as a straight man, she's like, you know, he's one of the men, you know, like, I'm not gay, I'm not gay, I'm not gay. But that's not, I don't consider that being gay. I consider, it, you know, having some fun sex. That's what I consider with your partner and shit. And shit, they do it and shit. I'm like, girl, that's crazy because I'm telling you, like, if you saw this nigga, you would not think he was like that at all. Like, he wouldn't even let you get near his ass and shit. And she said that, honestly, it's made their relationship even more exciting. And, you know, also, like, he don't cheat no more. He don't do none of that. Like, he actually is wrapped around her fingernail and shit. And anytime they have sex, she eats his ass. He eats her ass. Eat her pussy. She suck dick. Lick balls out of shit. Like, they're doing more, more shit with each other than they normally would. And not only that, but it has actually, you know, made their relationship even stronger. You know what I'm saying? It's actually made it stronger and shit. And I kind of congratulate her because, like I said, don't be afraid to tell your partner and shit, hey, I want to try this, I want to try that. 
Because it's some fun shit out there. It's some fun shit out there. If you ever watch porn, it's some fun shit out there. But I think while men and women are scared to tell, you know, their partners, hey, let's try this, let's try that, because they don't want to be judged or they don't want to be labeled, you know, like that, whatever. And I feel like as long as you make it understandable that, hey, I'm okay with trying new stuff. I'll try some once. If I, if I don't like it, I don't like it. If I like it, I like it. But be open-minded because at the end of the day, what you won't do, the next bitch will or the next nigga will. So I learned that the hard way. But like I said, you know, the same old, same old gets boring. And you got some people out here that just want to lay on the bed and let you do all the work. And that shit gets boring and shit. Like, try some shit. Try some new shit. Go get some bananas. Go get some watermelon. Go get some, you know, stuff out the fridge or the shit. Try some new. And I guarantee you, you'll have the funnest, funnest sex ever. Not only that, but it'll shock your partner. It'll be like, what? And it'll make them want to try to, you know, do something new or try to do something exciting like that, whatever. So, try some new shit. Shit. She even told me, hey, she even told me that, you know, they went to the mall and shit and fucked in the bathroom before and shit. You know, fucked in the car before and shit. And car sex is the best. I will say that. Car sex. Oh, I love car sex. Car sex is the best. Not that I do it all the time, but when I had a boyfriend, car sex is actually fun. And so is so is on the patio and all that and shit. Like, yeah, car sex is fun and shit and all that. But do something exciting. Like, damn, you only get one life. Do shit exciting and shit. No, do shit exciting. But like I said, <laughs> if he like his ass eighty, like his ass say shit. Look at Tank. Hello and Tank fine. I eat Tank any day. Like Tank fine than a bitch. But like I said, I don't. That's not considered gay to me. That's considered trisexual, and it's considered trying stuff with your partner. And I recommend everybody to try something new with your partner, whether it be fingering. Licking ass, licking pussy, licking dick, like food, like just all that t- uh, type of shit. Like try shit new because you never know. You might actually like it. But I feel like people are so close minded and they got such a fear of, oh, I can't try this. I can't try this because I'm going to get judged and judge this. Nigga, women, fuck what people think. Do what makes you happy. Try the shit. And let me know what y'all think about this video. Let me know if you ever tried shit like that or if you wanted them boring relationships and don't do shit. Let me know down at the comment selection or comment thing. Let me know and shit. Until next time, and I will be back with some more videos. Like, comment, and subscribe and share everywhere. Deuces. Ugh.